From Michaela Mayer's steamy debut on the site to Ebony Bridges raking in big bucks from her picks, here's how OnlyFans is revolutionizing female boxing. Female boxing's always gotten a bad rep for being oversexualized and glamorized a bit too much. But with online sites like OnlyFans, the tables have flipped. Even serious competitors are getting on the bandwagon. Just this year, Michaela Mayer became the latest stunner to join the site. Twitter went crazy when she announced the move on her Insta, that she'll be sharing a much closer look inside training camp fight week and her personal life with only her truest fans. Yep, I bet it's going to be a very close look, huh? Unlike the usual faces you'd expect to see on OnlyFans, Mayer has a 17 to 1 record as a pro and is a former super featherweight world champion. In October 2022, she sadly lost her titles to Alicia Baumgartner, so Mayer's back with vengeance. Like her, many ring girls are using the platform to get more fans for their main career. Say what you will about OnlyFans, but it's gotten really big over the pandemic, with over 40 million tuning in daily. A lot of them use OnlyFans to engage with their fans one-on-one, -on -one, especially after their boxing career takes a big hit, and they're desperate to win back their fans. Be it giving a behind-the-scenes tour to the boxing world, or a sneak peek of something else. It's a great way to meet fans around the world who can't make it to their matches. Like I said, a good side hustle never hurts anyone, right? In fact, the X-rated site is turning out to be the main source of income for most boxers. Before joining her MMA career, Paige Van Zant was very active in modeling and listed amongst the hottest MMA athletes currently active. So it doesn't come as a shocker that Van Zant would also go down the OnlyFans route. And get this, she's actually one of the top earning sports athletes right now thanks to her subscription service. The 29-year-old wasn't shy to announce that she'll be posting exclusive content on her account and she's proud of it. And you won't believe how much she makes a year from it. I'm talking 1.5 million pounds in just one year. Would you call her a sellout? Well, let me tell you, Miss Van Zant sure thinks she deserves her success, saying she works hard for her body and who she is, and there's a side of her that's feminine and girly, which she'd love to share with her fans. It takes $9.99 per month to subscribe to her content, and the knuckle boxer sure knows how to market herself well, opening up free trials for her Instagram followers to get a taste of her racy account, even teasing her fan to slide into her DMs, where she'll make them stay forever. Yes, Paige, I bet you can. And that's the best part about this whole business model. The female boxers who have full control over their media image, not some creepy corporate guys. If you think ring girls starting their OnlyFans accounts is messed up, think again. These boxers are never taken seriously in the ring, always super fetishized by their companies. And you know what they always say, for female fighting, sells. Well, this time, the ladies are selling themselves, and they decide what they get to share with their fans. Van Zant claimed the big move is an awakening in fighters, that there's money out there, and they're going to be compensated for what they do. Gone are the days when OnlyFans was just some cheap porn site. It's a quick way for lesser-known celebs to get famous, especially the sexy ones, and they don't have to stick to some weird script either. No, people are getting more and more creative with this gig, coming up with new content every week to keep their fans happy. Paige Van Zant explained how before it got famous, people saw OnlyFans creators like adult actors, just another raunchy X-rated site created for men's pleasure. But now, it's about getting love from fans and feeling confident about yourself, and of course, cashing in on that sexy body. It's become a lot more acceptable for female stars to open their accounts, without being slut-shamed for it. You know what the real twist here is? The OG OnlyFans creators are actually getting into female boxing through the site. You've all heard of Elle Brooke, whose fame on OnlyFans only got her more and more fans until she started collabing with more female boxers 
getting trained from Miss Ebony Bridges herself and went from being just a sexy influencer to serious boxer taking part in bigger tournaments. She also revealed to her fans about possibly switching to professional boxing, and I'd call that a win for the entire boxing community. And Brooke's not the only one who launched her boxing career like this. Avril Mathy also lives a double life. In one world, she has a fan dying for videos of her playing with her belly button. In the other, she's a pro boxer with a record of 8 and and O oh, and one. The Miss Swimsuit winner was 15 when she ran away from home and worked her way up to her dreams of entering the ring. But while she is fitness enthusiast and Muay Thai fighter, her real passion comes from filming adult content for her fans. With Mathy, you don't really know what to expect. If you think tapes and is all she has to offer, you might want to think again. One time, she exposed a three-inch deep cut from when a motorcycle ran over her leg, giving fans more flesh than could handle. She's also frequently challenged fellow Aussie and OnlyFans boxer Ebony Bridges for her IBF bantamweight title. And if there's one thing the OnlyFans community absolutely loves is when two content creators pair up in the ring. Sadly, the fight was canceled due to Bridges' injury, but hey, when the fight does happen, you bet all their followers will be tuning in. And even if you're new to women boxing, you would have definitely heard of Ebony Bridges. I mean, who hasn't? Bridges takes the credit for paving the way for female boxers in OnlyFans, saying she was the first female boxer on the platform way before all the influencers started using it. The Aussie boxer claimed OnlyFans approached her first, knowing she'd be a pioneer, and that if she would make an account, others would follow. Because it's no secret, the blonde bomber's notoriously known for her risque moments, even inside the ring. Turning up to weigh-ins in lacy lingerie, putting up her own modeling show for the fans, always stirring up drama. The cheeky star can't stop talking about her boobs and how they alone are heavier than her opponent. Then she follows up with an Insta post sporting a low-cut white dress, hinting at a saucy cooking series to her OnlyFans. You can tell things are about to get spicy here. Bridges also teased a sleepover with her L. Brooke, the baby bomber, saving room for a third. Looks like things are about to get PG-13 on a sleepover real soon. And if you think that's crazy, wait till you hear about how she soft-launched her OnlyFans career. She just defeated Shannon O'Connell via TKO to retain her title. And during her interview, she was asked about her weigh-in outfit, to which the cheeky boxer removed her top, revealing a lacy bikini with her OnlyFans account asking fans to subscribe now, and called it a pretty stripper look. Well, that's one way to explain it. Bridges has always been excited about promoting her OnlyFans page mainly because Instagram puts a ban on the more exclusive content she wants to show. And she decided after giving up teaching other boxers, why not go out there and make some money on her own? She even called the OnlyFans partnership a team thing. Not to mention, she got a whooping quarter million dollars just to join. Sure enough, following her move, many famous boxers joined the money train after Bridges. Miss Bridges will listen to no one. Her bold comments has pushed more boxers to take pride in their OnlyFans gigs. For instance, she called out the double standards of the boxing community for slut-shaming female boxers who earn through the site, explaining she only gets to box twice a year. And two paychecks a year is simply not enough. I'm not getting millions like the men off boxing, so I'd be dumb not to maximize what I can earn elsewhere. Bridges also clapped back to the people calling OnlyFans a boldly saying, it's not it's moving away from and to be fair, many boxers like Bridges and Mayer usually only post everyday stuff on there. Picks they'd probably post on Insta anyways, except now they're getting paid for it. So from Ebony Bridges raking in big bucks from her picks to Michaela Mayer's steamy debut on the site, that's all on how OnlyFans is revolutionizing female boxing.